Do you know you will never be able to transfer your AdSense ownership to others? You may add any different user and have them removed from your own AdSense dashboard, but you, the creator of the AdSense account, will still receive the AdSense payment. Stick with this video for details. We will also reveal some considerable things that have been kept secret from the internet. So let's jump to this video. In this video, we will learn how to add Google AdSense to WordPress website. At first, go to this page. You can search Google AdSense sign up, then you can find this link. Then you will reach this page. This page may have changed based on your location. Currently, I'm using the USA version of this page. Before adding Google AdSense to your WordPress website, let me show you a small trick on how you can measure your potential earnings. Scroll down and you will find this. Choose your blog or audience category and visitors region and select the monthly traffic you expect to get. For example, if my blog is about health and the audience region is America, then monthly 50,000 visitors will let me generate around 2,000 USD yearly. This income is not fixed. It may go up and down based on your content values. So let's start adding AdSense in your WordPress website. Click on Sign Up if you don't have an existing account. Choose the Google account. Paste your website name, which is wpwiki.click. Enable AdSense performance suggestion via email. Then choose a country. Remember, you'll not be able to change the country later. Make sure it's right. Also, you will receive your AdSense earnings to this country's bank only. You will never get a second chance to change the country here. So be careful while choosing this. Then agree on the terms and conditions. Click on Start Using AdSense. AdSense account created. Here you will see these three things. These two are required to apply for AdSense. Click on Enter Verification. Here they will ask for your information. Just fill up. Now, give your phone number where you will receive an OTP. So type your phone number and choose whether you want SMS or a phone call. Then click Send. On the next page, you will have to enter the code and then this step will be done. So they got the info they needed. Now we need to connect your site to AdSense. Click on this. Now we have to verify that this is really our website. There are three methods of this verification. I will apply the AdSense code snippet. If you choose this over others, then you will get an auto ad advantage, which means if your AdSense approval request got accepted, then this ad code will automatically start showing ads on your website and you will make money even before you know that you got approval in AdSense. So let's paste this code on our website. Go to your website admin dashboard. By the way, see I changed my WP admin login URL. Watch this tutorial to find the trick. Then add a new plugin. Search header footer. You will find the header footer code manager plugin. Install and activate that. Then click on the plugin page. Click Add New Snippet. Give a name to this. I'm writing AdSense Verify. Then scroll down and paste the code. And save it. Then click on Verify. Successfully verified. Verification done. Now we will apply for AdSense by clicking on Request Review. Now Google is asking to enable a consent message for our site. Consent message is a very necessary thing for website owners. In this video, I showed why giant companies face millions of dollars in fines for not having this. You can watch that. So back to the point, here are three types of consent messages. I prefer to use the third one, then click submit. 
Well done. Our website is submitted to Google AdSense. Within 14 days, you will receive their response. If your website traffic is good in number, then chances are you will receive the approval mail faster. Sometimes this doesn't update instantly. Just refresh. Both are showing green signals. This time, let's enable auto ads. Click on Explore. Once the page loads, enable these auto ads. Also enable other ads too. Just follow my steps. Then apply to site and apply now. The ad setting is also complete now. You can add any new user to your AdSense dashboard from the user management. The user can see your analytics, reports, can see ad codes, etc. Many people think they can transfer or sell their AdSense account to someone else, but that's not true. Your AdSense is permanently linked to your Google payment profile, which you created with your legal name, address, and bank details. Even if you add new users or remove yourself from the dashboard, Google still pays the original account holder. So if you ever plan to sell your website, remember, you can only share ad code or ad users, but you can't transfer the AdSense ownership itself. So our job is done now. Successfully applied AdSense to your WordPress website. This time, wait for the AdSense email. We hope very soon they will send this email. So once you get approval, you will need to set up the AdSense code on your WordPress website manually, just like inside the article, before content, after title, etc. To set up ad code in your website, watch this video. For other AdSense-based tutorials, follow our AdSense tutorial playlist.